Greetings. And welcome. My beautiful beings of light. Just breathe, you are brilliant multidimensional beings having a human experience. You've just experienced another mile marker that you left for yourselves pre-incarnation. That signpost is asking you to check in with your inner selves and rejoice at your rate of spiritual inner growth while also asking you to release the need to resist change. Just breathe, albeit the earth in your human eyes is still twirling on its axis while dodging space rocks. Mother Earth's core is heating up and tectonic plates are shifting creating earthquakes and volcanic activity. The climate is changing. The sun is shooting off solar X flares. Change is still the constant within the mass conscious collective. That being said my beloveds, all is still unfolding in divine timing within the creator's master blueprint, even though it is difficult to fathom and remember that larger picture when you need it most, just breathe. Just breathe, my divine beings of light your mission on the earth plane continues. Duality is going away and linear time is on its way out. The earth plane conglomerate however is still charged with the mission of bringing peace forward, harmonizing and soothing the mass conscious collective. My divine beings of grace, just breathe, remember you are on the earth plane because you volunteered. You are the celestial masters, the old high vibrational souls and celestial light beings volunteering your expertise that is so gravely needed during these times of tumultuous change. You can do this my divine beings of light, just breathe your efforts are making a difference. The Creator and the Celestial Realm salutes you for all your efforts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just breathe, yes, it would have been so much easier had you been able to bring your celestial knowing, celestial multidimensional wisdom and knowledge, but that wasn't part of the assignment, my beloveds. The major portion of the assignment is remembering who you really are, my beings of divine grace. Just breathe, these fast and intense energies are asking you to remember to go back within yourselves so that you can connect with your highest guidance within, to locate that inner knowing, calm, balance and harmony within yourselves. Just breathe, it isn't someone else's job, it isn't some government or head of state's job, it isn't your family's job, it is each essence's job to connect, call home and to tune into who you really are. It is each essence's role and mission to tap into the larger picture and remember what your puzzle piece is and where it belongs in the huge puzzle of the Divine Master Blueprint for planet Earth. Just breathe, each timeline is nothing more than a mile marker, my beloveds. Each signpost that passes is just that, it is simply an individual check-in point, to measure your own inner spiritual growth on your incarnation path. My beloveds you left the markers for yourselves to remember. Take note that as was stated individual measurement, it isn't a competition and no one is judging, just breathe. You are simply making an assessment of a new spot on the map where you have placed your foot now while on your journey home. Take a visual scan of how far you have come. My beloveds, the questions to ask yourselves are how are you experiencing things differently? What part of your history are you still clinching in your fists? What old belief systems and programming can you identify that needs to be released to move forward in love, balance, harmony, and peace? Just breathe, this mile marker is a game changer for you. Some mile markers are more important than others and this one has a much higher vibrational level than you have experienced in a long while. That being said, my beautiful beings of light, when there are vibrational shifts, there are those that are ready for the rise and those that simply haven't reached that level yet but are climbing, and those that are flatly resisting all change. Ask in prayer my beloveds, for benevolent outcomes, the divine highest good of all and the divine harmony to blend all back into the one. Just breathe, my beloveds, the moment has arrived to understand what the mass conscious collective is don't you think? Remember when you were a child and went to the playground and saw all those other children crowding around all the playground equipment? Do you remember having to learn about sharing, patience, standing in line waiting to take turns? Did you remember to add into your waltz down memory lane, that it also took kindness, compassion, caring and listening? Think back on how you learned to make friends in order to play well together. If making friends for you included manipulation or bullying or fear release these now as they will no longer serve. 
my beautiful beings of grace the earth has 7.243 billion inhabitants not to mention Mother Earth, all the other kingdoms down to the tiniest bit of matter and antimatter and the balance of so much stuff that earth plane scientists haven't even discovered yet. All is consciousness, just breathe. My beloveds, that is a lot of emotions, feelings, relationships, points of view, cultures, belief systems, missions, attitudes don't you think? The mass conscious collective is made up of all of that and a bit more. The mass conscious collective is an emotional stew made up from all that are on, in, and inhabit planet Earth and all of its atmospheres. So the question is how do you stir the volatile stew pot to blend, balance and harmonize? The melting pot of the mass conscious collective is one of the major contributors to the global weather patterns that are being experienced. It feeds and intensifies off of high emotional outbursts, hatreds, intolerances, violence and the anger of all. It feeds off of the law of attraction so it's constantly bringing towards itself, that which is the energy majority. The mass conscious collective energizes the sun's solar flare activity. The solar flare activity then influences the mass conscious collective. It can be a never-ending violent loop of disruption. Just breathe, part of the global mission is to soothe and harmonize the collective. You are part of the global mission in addition to your own individual mission contributions. How do you do that one asks? The answer is, one essence at a time, starting with yourself. It is learning and remembering how to give, receive. Be in gratitude, thank, celebrate others' differences, forgive, clear, release, to calm, to self-soothe, to focus and center yourselves in your higher vibrational lights. Each is charged with handling their own remembrance, learning and awareness. Each accepted the challenge of bringing peace to the earth plane. Just breathe, within the human construct of this collective there are many that have no clue what peace looks like. They only remember themselves as humans and thus far have never experienced human peace. Peace wasn't modeled for them in their human cultures or physical family histories or on their map coordinates. Nothing about the physical world that they think they know, shared the seed essence of peace. My beloveds, you have witnessed with moments past, a faint light at the end of the collective tunnel. There is a small faint voice coming through in their spiritual guidance centers, because you asked the Creator for benevolent outcomes. That spiritual guidance voice keeps repeating the message that love is peace. Just breathe, my beloveds, have compassion for those that are struggling. They are beginning to hear the soft still voice of spiritual guidance and they want to raise their own vibrations by releasing their resistance. They are beginning to awaken, my beloveds. Celebrate with them and model peace within your own vibrational levels. Send them love and prayers for benevolent outcomes and their divine highest good. Raising the vibrational levels of the mass conscious collective is the step forward. Defusing the collective emotional stew is an ongoing process my beloveds. Some of you have this very task as part of your major mission. All can contribute something to this evolutionary process through prayer and global peace filled visualization exercises in your daily meditations. Allow this messenger to take you on a mediation journey to remember how to work towards remembering how to defuse destructive energies within the collective. Sit in a chair or lie down whichever is your preference. It's time to be comfortable and undisturbed for a while as you journey within yourself through meditation. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths in and out. Visualize with each in-breath, you are breathing in love and renewal. With each out-breath, you are breathing out pain, fear, frustrations, and doubts. With the last out breath feel your body relaxing. Allow and give yourself permission to feel the calm, peace, and serenity of this safe place. My beloveds ask your ego self to perch on your left shoulder. Instruct your ego self that it is only to be an observer on this journey, it is not to participate. Through prayer to the Creator, Please ask the Creator to share with you a translucent golden shield of light. Visualize it all around you forming a bubble from head to toe protecting you from all outside influences and giving you warmth, radiance, light, and power. Negatives will simply bounce harmlessly off your golden shield of protective light. My beloveds, the Creator has responded to your prayer. Your protective bubble has been supplied. 
The energies for this bubble will continue to flow from the Creator, cycling back down through you again, and back to the Creator in a continuous circular loop while you are in meditation. You are now divinely protected at this moment and nothing can even communicate with you, that is not for your highest good, without your permission. Breathe in deeply my beautiful beings of light and sense the lighter relaxed feelings of being divinely protected and guided into this meditation. Breathe in deeply and know that you are breathing to the pulse of the Creator. Breathe in deeply allowing, seeing, and sensing within your spiritual imagination your guardian angels and invited spirit guides as they join you now. The angels take your spiritual etheric essence hands and guide you out of your physical body. The angels then direct you into your etheric spiritual heart chakra. An angel is staying with your physical essence until you return from your meditation journey. My beloveds, you are visualizing, seeing, feeling and sensing this within your imagination, your guardian angels, spirit guides and special invited guests are with you now within your spiritual heart chakra. Your angels and guides are helping you locate the golden door that says to my highest guidance within. In your imagination you have located the golden door and now you turn the etheric spiritual door knob, opening the door as you cross over the threshold knowing that you are on a spiritual growth adventure. You find yourself in a white marble corridor. Your angels take your hand and guide you to the 444 door to your right, just off of the main hallway system. You look at the label on the door and it reads Diffusion Room. You turn the door handle and step inside. You look around the room. The walls are a beautiful pale blue. The lighting is soft pink. There isn't much furniture but there is a padded circular bench in the center of the room. You notice that this bench is positioned right underneath a large round clear crystal globe. Your angels are showing you a chart on the wall that has various color levels on it. They are pointing that there are colors assigned to the different vibrational measurements of the mass conscious collective. The angels continue to explain that when you sit on the padded circular bench you can observe the vibrational color variances of the collective within the clear crystal globe. The adventure today is to remember how to work with the collective. The angels let you know that you are not quite ready yet for the padded bench. The angels relay that your own chakra system needs to be cleared, cleaned, and repaired before you begin your collective interaction. You can certainly relate to that since your own energy vibrations are a part of this massive collective. The room has an area dedicated to chakra clearing and maintenance. There is a special gold mat on the floor where you are asked to stand. The angels wait for you to position yourself and then they flip a switch on the small piece of calibration equipment there to your left. The machine lights up with a light for each chakra and a color indicator for those that need clearing or repairs. You are looking at the lights now and can see that three of your chakras are in need of major help. Your angels immediately go to work and have those chakras, cleared and repaired in seconds. Wow! You say to them that was quick. Your angels ask you to notice how differently you feel. Checking in with yourself you recognize that you are actually feeling much calmer and better with this clearing work completed. Your angels let you know that they are always available to work with your chakra system, you simply need to ask. They suggest to you that you do this clearing work daily. The angels announce that you are now ready to have a seat on the round padded bench in the center of the room. You have taken your seat and are handed a pair of very special glasses. These glasses will enable you to see the state of the collective when the switch is turned on. You put on the glasses and your angels turn on the crystal clear globe in the center of the room. You notice immediately that the collective looks rather like a cloud with no defining lines just a cluster of energies. You notice also that the shape changes constantly as does the color. The energy is always moving. You observe the color of this energy mass and then check the chart on the wall for further clarification and understanding. You notice that not all of the energy mass is the same color. At this moment the energy mass is highly volatile with shades ranging from black to the deepest grayish red colors. In the left corner sits a small cluster of bright pink. The color chart is letting you know that this is a very dangerous stage for the majority of this energy mass. The angels are now guiding you to place both of your hands over your solar plexus and begin to breathe deeply. They want you to close your eyes and begin visualizing in your imagination that all of the colors are changing from black, grayish red to light shades of gray, 
then on to all pink and then finally transmuting into gold. They tell you to continue with your visualization exercise and they will tap you on your right shoulder when it is time to open your eyes again. It doesn't take long for them to tap you. You open your eyes and can see that others are joining you on the padded circular bench, however their forms are very wispy and transparent. The angels explain that these are essences just like you, from all over the globe that are all working on calming the collective as well. This makes you smile knowing that others also desire to help. You look up at the crystal ball and do see that with the combined effort of everyone working together that there is a difference in the color. The others are also working with an instrument that looks like a lightning rod. They are pointing the rod at the globe and you can see the dense color hitting the rod and transmuting it into divine pink love energy and then into divine golden grace. Those divine energies are then being redirected back into the globe helping to defuse the dangerous energy that accumulates there. Your angels hand you a rod and instruct you have to use it. It actually is very easy to just hold it and put the intention in place that the negative energy will be requalified back into positive energy and reintroduced into the collective energy mass. You work with this for a while and feel that you have the hang of it now. The angels ask you to do this work as often as you can. They further comment that you now can see how very important this part of your mission is. It takes everyone's involvement to bring the collective back into harmony and balance. For today the angels are telling you it is time to return. They ask you to stand on the golden mat again to make sure that all of your chakras are still in alignment and that your chakras did not absorb any of the energy that you were transmuting. All seems fine and you are still perfectly in balance. You step off the mat and head for the door. Before you can blink an eye you instantly find yourself back in the white marble corridor. You catch a glimpse of your glowing essence in the mirror smiling, proud of yourself for being part of the global mission of transmuting negative energy. Your angels lead you back across the threshold of the golden door within, back into your spiritual heart chakra and then they assist the return of your spiritual essence back into your physical form. Take a deep breath to help you reorient as you wiggle your fingers and toes. When you are ready open your eyes. Go about your day remembering that your inner higher wisdom and angelic support staff are always at your service working with you to help you reach your highest most appropriate potential. Listen for those first thoughts that pop into your awareness and know without a shadow of a doubt that you are receiving daily spiritual guidance. Beloveds you are blessed beyond words and loved beyond measure more than any earth plain language can ever express. I am Archangel Michael, the Creator's messenger, of love, joy, wisdom, light, peace, and grace.